Oh, hey, what's going on? So it's time for another update on updating our roaster in this vlog series. So I've been going back and forth on the phone via email. Ah, okay, so that's what the update says. It, it said it was loaded on another truck. As you can see, there's been a little delay with the shipment. Um, once it got into Minneapolis, I think the problem started when I notified them of our living situation. So. Our home is kind of like a town home, and this could be helpful, helpful for you if you live in a structure like this where you don't have a typical single family home. So this was the big issue, I think. And so they were going to deliver this thing, like say on a, an 18 wheeler, right? Um, that really just wasn't gonna work. So they needed to figure out how to transfer it to another vehicle. With that being said, something happened. I talked to the delivery person on the phone that they couldn't that there was some kind of miscommunication in the last three days because it's been here in uh, Fontana in the distribution center, which is like literally not up the street, but it's it's very close to where we are. So we could have had this three days ago, but it's it's really small potatoes. I just want to make sure it gets here um, uh, safely and that I don't have to be like, oh crap, there's a ding in it or something like that, like knock on wood, right? So. Um, if you have a home like ours, it's kind of like a town home where the garage is in the back of the house where the front door is. Um, now that they know the situation, they're supposed to put it on a smaller truck tomorrow. Today is October 23rd, 2019. Um, I have the cell phone of the delivery guy, so that's cool, that's comforting. And hopefully we can get this thing delivered sometime mid-morning or late morning. Um, and then move it into the garage and then that'll be cool after that we'll just make sure there's no dings in it and everything they do not do inside delivery so you always want to call them and make sure because the email said hey they could you know deliver it for you inside now we know we're not getting any help from the delivery service whatsoever um, but i think we'll be okay i really think we'll be all right um if we really can't move it i s still have some tricks up my sleeve how to get that guy inside um, I don't think it should be a problem, but we'll see. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I'm I'm pretty excited. I think this delay has allowed me to really like draw out plans. <laughs> this is my latest plan uh, for the exhaust to vent uh, safely and easily. And the big question throughout this last week since I last saw you in the in the vlog series was like, how are we going to do this? Is this going to be um, Am I gonna snake a hose all the way out to the backyard? I was concerned about flies coming in and things like this. And basically what I landed on, and I'm pretty happy, I'm very satisfied for now once we get this thing up and running, since we're not gonna be roasting a lot, like we're not at that point yet. So it's cool to, to find a solution right now that just works, is safe, um, and I could just get going again, you know? Um, so basically what I configured is venting uh, through the garage, opening the garage just a little bit. I'm gonna build a support system for the flexible hose for the exhaust. I'm gonna put a cap on the exhaust. It's probably gonna be a good 10 inches diameter uh, width. Uh, that way no flies or something gets in or even rain. If, if I wanted to roast in the rain, I could probably actually do that. Um, and still roast in the garage. And as we're going into winter, I think it'll be all right. Like we're gonna have a really nice, mellow first season of roasting with the Mill City, getting used to it, mastering the machine and all that stuff. And I think we're gonna be okay. This is called to me an open system. It's open to the uh, elements. What I really wanted to do is have a closed system, of course, that way, like I just wouldn't have to worry about the weather. I just wouldn't have to worry about venting it outside. I just wouldn't have to worry about people maybe seeing or hearing or having any idea of what I'm doing. And um, that's okay, that's all right. I have an idea, I laid that out too. I drew it all out in terms of a closed system approach if we are still here in this home, because that's always a thing too. It's like, if we do a permanent solution for the venting, it means it, it almost kind of feels like, oh, that means we're gonna stay here forever. And while I, I do love our home, we do have our goals still. So we're always trying to make decisions that allow for flexibility in case we move, in case we have to do this, in case we have to do that, which is, it gets a little kind of like, you know, too 
too futuristic, but um, I'm very satisfied with this idea that I have right now. It's an open system. I'm just gonna jerry-rig uh, something that will work for us and then I can tuck away when we're not roasting. I'll pull the, um, the vent hose back inside the garage, close the garage and that's it, right? And, and uh, you know, just have clearance for it. And we have that corner in our, in our little uh, garage slash gym uh, where I feel like it'll be okay. So we're going with that plan. So far, the roaster is coming tomorrow. I'm very excited. Um, and uh, we'll just have to prepare. We have a dolly here, so that's cool. We didn't have to rent a pallet jack. I don't believe we have to rent a pallet jack. I think with a smaller truck, they can just back right into the alleyway where our garage is, drop that guy off, and if they want to bone out, bone out, you know? <laughs> So that's the plan, that's the update for the roaster. Um, probably the next video that I'm gonna make, hopefully there's no issues, um, will be the unboxing. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for tuning in and um, watching our journey over here at Black City Coffee. And we'll see you next time.